Welcome back. One of the things that we consider when we're doing a classic update kit is we try and make it cross-platform. What I mean by that is you're going to have a situation where you have um, maybe 50 different engineering drawings that we take into consideration. Uh, for instance, this kit's going to cover from 62 to 67 Nova. Well, obviously the wiring harnesses from an OEM standpoint were not all the same. They were completely different. Uh, we're going to do this kit to where it'll handle all those. We'll take into consideration things like where, where items come out, how long they are, and we'll generalize them and we'll get them to where they fit all the applications. We'll give you all the correct light sockets and applications and that'll all be in the four color instructions. As an example here, we've got a 67 engine harness that we have to consider. We have the 65 SS. We have the 63 and 4 non SS. Okay, what we'll do is we'll take all this into consideration, get all our takeoff lengths, and make sure that this application is going to work for all situations. Then we'll take one of our classic update harnesses and we'll modify that to fit the application that we're wanting to do here. This just gives you some kind of an idea of what we're dealing with when we design a new kit and everything that's involved. Come on, let's go out and take a look at the car. Okay, we're back at our Nova now, and what we're going to show you here, I've got a couple things I want to go over. We've wired our car from the back to the front. The rear body portion of this job is already completed. We're going to show you what we did there, how we did it, how we tied it in. This car is running LED tail lamps. It does not have uh, normal light sockets in it. So we're going to show you how we tied that in. Then we're going to go up to the front of the car, and we're going to show you some of the problems that we found when we started getting into this project. Come on over. You're going to see here what we did. If you look coming out over the wheelhouse here, you're going to see where our rear body harness comes up through the floor. We'll take you further forward and find out where that came from. Okay, you'll see where we wrapped it all down through the rear side of the quarter panel here. We've elected to put this in some uh, knitted TechFlex tubing because we like the way that that looks. That does not come with the kit. You're going to get just normal wires like you see right here that has all the writing on it. We just like the way that this looks when we do an install, so we will complete this and put this in this way. If you look back up under here, you're going to see your new taillight socket area up here. Now again, this one has LED lighting, so it's just got this harness coming out. And you can see here, when we made our connection from our rear body harness to the LED lamps, You'll also see that we've added new backup lamp socket and connection. Okay, We've run this harness across the back of the car here over to the other side and we've accomplished the same thing over there. Alright, let's go forward and we'll show you where this ties in. Okay, you'll see here, you'll remember we were in the trunk and we were showing where the harness routed down over the wheelhouse. Here's where it comes into the interior compartment. Again, we've put it in the tubing. We've run it over here to, from the quarter panel into the rocker sill area here. Now this plate right here that you see, this comes out. It's held in by two Phillips head screws. We've removed that and then everything is in a piece of plastic tubing. We removed the plastic tubing, okay? and we took all the old wiring out, we fished all of our new wiring through the plastic tubing and ran it completely up to the rocker panel here just like the factory did it. What we've done is we've continued it up the rocker, we removed the kick panel and routed the wire through the bulkhead here just the way GM did it, comes up here on the other side of the dash, drops through an opening and here's our rear body harness ready to plug into our dash once we get that in. In with this kit we also include under dash courtesy lamps which are plugged into the rear body harness and they're already plugged over here into this door jam switch. This is all done and ready to go. Okay, One of the things that we found when we were dealing with this car is we found a lot of cuts and splices in this thing. This car was a real mess. We're going to make this good and safe for the customer show you what we're talking about back here. We started removing our original harness here. 
and you can see all this electrical tape and all these wires that are all cut and spliced. We've got some other wires here that we don't even know where they go. We've got some other wires down here that are running through a grommet in the firewall. We're not sure where those come up. We started pulling this away. And we found a whole new set of issues. If you look at all the, the cutting and splicing that's going on here, we got this little safety wrap here, whatever that is. Here's a real interesting thing that we found when we started untaping over here. Somebody put a headlight enhancement relay system on this car. This car also has an electric fan up front here, which we'll show you in a minute. But they had all this wiring just all jumbled in here. This was all one great big ball about as big as my fist, just all taped up with electrical tape. We're going to fix this so that this doesn't exist anymore. This is going to be nice and clean. None of this will even be here when we get done. All right, here's our harness that we pulled back out, as you can see. We ran into a lot of other cuts and splices here. Again, you can see all this electrical tape. One of the things that you'll want to watch for whenever you're doing a wiring job, anytime you see electrical tape, somebody's been into it, because the OEMs never used electrical tape. They use non-stick vinyl tape or even plastic tubing, ribbed convoluted tubing. This car here, you'll see all the cuts and splices, all the stuff spot taped to the harness. Here's our electric fan up here in the front with our connection that's just got the wires twisted together. This is all recipe for disaster. One of the things that we noticed was the wiring on this thing looked a little shaky. Let me show you what we found when we started taking the headlights out of this car. Come on down here. Okay. Customers put some real high intensity lights on this car and apparently the relay that they used or the way that they did the wiring was an issue because there was many melted areas on the connectors. We're going to show you this one headlight here. We couldn't even get this off. If you can focus on this, you'll see that this Nylite connector which is very forgiving heat wise, is totally melted to the headlamp to the point that the Bakelite housing that the, carries the bulb is actually cracked and broken. This car was an accident looking for a place to happen. You can see that the lighting, or the wiring for the lighting here has all been cut and spliced with electrical tape. We're going to eliminate all this with our new kit. Here's the headlight connector off the other headlight and you'll see where that cavity is totally melted. You can see what the heat has done to this. That's probably caused by pin drag which is a, a high resistance connection at a terminal and at an appliance. This is our stock bulkhead location and we are going to bring our new harness out through that same location and then route our wires down low to hide everything as best we can. Here, bring it up and eliminate all this. I'm going to go ahead and start tearing the rest of this harness out now. So for now, that's it. We'll talk to you soon.